In this video, I'm going to show you a 20G XTR and why you probably shouldn't even bother to rebuild it. But I'm going to show you how to fix it and how complicated it is, I guess you could say. The 20G XTR uses an odd sized turbine wheel, which is about 54 and a half by 65 millimeter. I didn't measure that, but I'm guessing that's what it is based on what I had to use to fix it. The way to, fi the way to fix this is you're going to have to take the turbine housing and machine the turbine housing for a TDO6 turbine, 55.11 by 65. And then the compressor wheel, you're also going to have to change that, which the good thing about the compressor wheel is the compressor housing is already machined for a 20G compressor wheel. So you could use a cast or billet compressor wheel. This one's a cast compressor wheel. And the reason we have to change all this to do a rebuild is because the shaft that they use uses odd size journal bearings and the collar and spacer are odd sizes, which means that those parts you have to have custom made or you, yeah, either way, you're gonna have to have that custom made. That's something not readily available. The reason why you have to change the compressor wheel is because the compressor wheel shaft bore is smaller, which goes directly on the shaft. So because these collar and spacer are smaller, they you can't use the OEM ones because it just this fitment is not the same. General bearings are not the same, so you can't use a, a genuine MHI rebuild kit to rebuild the 20G XTR. So if you do want to rebuild this turbo, the easiest way to go about rebuilding it is to replace the compressor wheel with a 20G wheel with the standard shaft bore as a Mitsubishi and to replace the turbine shaft to a TDO6, but you have to machine the turbine housing to be able to fit it because that's an odd size turbine wheel. That I tried an SL2 turbine, but it's not big enough to fit in there, so it's not worth your time to mess with an SL2. So or just have to machine it to a TDO6. Or you could machine it to a TDO6H if you want to. This is the original turbine housing. I ended up replacing it because it's cracked right across here and it's cracked all the way through. So this is what it looks like when I finish. I replaced this with one of our turbine housings. We do have these available, so I'll link to them below in the description box. And I'll link to our rebuild kit for this. But if you're trying to rebuild a 20G XTR, the rebuild kit's not going to work unless you convert it over just like I show in this video. I have this just fitted on here loosely so you can see my machine work. I machined the turbine housing from TDO5H to a TDO6H turbine wheel. And then I also cut this or boarded this out a little bit bigger to prevent from having boost creep problems. And it'll also help pick up a little bit more power. I also TIG welded inside the flap here to make it more sturdy, which it's got the connecting arm there. I also TIG welded the back of this to make sure that was more sturdy and I retig welded that. So this is what it looks like to fix a 20G XTR. It's one of the most expensive rebuilds because you have to change everything besides the bearing housing and then you have to machine the turbine housing to fit a different turbine wheel. Some of the last finishing touches I still have to do to this is to make this arm work. So you can see this arm is a little bit different and this one's a little bit smaller. I kind of prefer just to have the bigger one because I think it would be stronger. So I'm going to probably just drill this a little bit bigger so it fits directly on there and just be done with this thing. It's either that or I can take this, grind this off, and then weld it on this one and be done. 